Okay. People that are considered legally blind? Sure. Only 10% of people that are legally blind are 100% blind. Everybody else has a little bit of vision. That reminds me of my... Uh, and here's a here's a towel here you can put over your on your uh, on your legs. Okay. Yeah, just so you can something wipe your hands off. All right. My uh my late mother-in-law. She still she uh, was legally blind, but still drove. Ooh, that's sounds. Good. Yeah. Well, that that was Jean. Uh, so her glasses, you know, were Pretty I'm thick. exaggerating, probably you know three inches thick. That would be huge. But, but I'll never forget the one time, uh, you know, my wife had said uh, when she was merging onto the highway, and she, she wasn't looking, she wasn't looking at anything, just and uh, she just, just, and uh, Leslie's like, Mom, did you look at it? And she goes, oh, well, don't move. <laughs> it sounds like my mother. Uh -huh. oh. Seriously. I drove, I drove, my mom drove me somewhere once, you know, about, oh, I don't know, eight years ago. Nine years ago, I could I could see just a little enough to enough to be re scared when she was driving, and that was the last time I ever drove with her because I think her eyesight was getting bad. And she was driving on the shoulder up 494. And I said, "What are you doing here?" I was waiting for the traffic to clear. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm hey, should I be rolling up my sleeves to get them out of the way? Yeah, that probably would work. Um. So you've ever worked with? You've, Work with clay at all? Uh, when I was in the seventh grade, maybe no ninth grade. I so, well, no, <laughs> no, not really. Anywho, uh, I've been thinking about you know usually when I I'll I what well, yeah, that usually what I do is I'll start and I'll do a, a demonstration. Okay. You know, and I'll explain everything. Yep. Step by step, I go through the whole process so we can, you know, I I, I show you and I explain everything to you and then. I help you make a pot on the wheel. Okay. But can't show you. So because you can't see anything. So yeah, once we find out That's where this is the wheel. Yep. And then you can feel the splash pan on the outside. Yes, yep. Okay. And then over on your left, here's a, a bucket. A little water. Yeah, it should be some warm water. I'm gonna yep. put a little bit more warmer, make it a little bit warmer. And there's a little edge here uh, to your left, down. You can feel the edge of the down here. Yeah, right there. That's the other edge. And then there's over here. I've got a bunch of the tools and stuff. So on your side. Yep. All the sponges and. Yep. Yeah. So I, I think I'll take this sponge here. I'm gonna. Um, hey, you're gonna, gonna I'm gonna that. set that right over here in that first ledge that I showed you on your left. Okay. So you can use that. To wipe your hands. Oh, okay. So wipe, wipe it here and wipe it here. And so. So what I was thinking is. Are we taping right now? Am I smiling? So you walk marvelous. <laughs> and uh, I think I look pretty wonderful too. I cut. Yeah, my I, my beard is white and probably five inches long. Okay. He's on Rebecca's calendar. But I'm I'm, I'm February. <laughs> he is. Uh, yeah, I hope you have yeah, your shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, I had braided my beard. I had beads. Uh, my beard was braided and be beaded, okay. and so that's why I was on the calendar. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't. You look marvelous. I don't cut my hair, so okay. thanks for laughing. That's uh, long and curly. But anyway, so I'd here's. Have, I'd have here's, to run my fingers through your yeah. locks, to know I, and I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> well, I'd rather that you didn't feel me. So I mean, I, yeah. so I know the expression is "feel me," but I'd rather no, that's, no, no, that's no, not. I'm with you. Thanks for laughing. No, yeah, so here's a ball of clay. If you want to just, yep. that's a little bit cold. And I'll be right back. I'm going to get a little bit, I'm going to warm up this water a little bit. I'm getting the old clay off the top here. I feel like I, if, I, if I have that on there, it's going to get it better. Are you guys taping? Yeah. yeah you are. Oh. A little bit. What are you going to do with this tape, with this uh, wonderful experience? Who's a I have no idea. <laughs> do you have a website? I do, but I don't know. It might, it might scare put it on YouTube or something. I, have, I did some videos a while back, but I just haven't uh, 
done it. I haven't posted anything on YouTube or anything. I actually have other, I mean, <clears throat> when you're in a community of people with the same whatever you have, mm -hmm. I know several or a bunch of people that are visually impaired or blind. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bet you they would actually enjoy doing something like mm -hmm. this. Because really, you can't, you're limited to what you can do well, because of a lack of vision. So when you find something you could do, it's like, yeah. try that. So well, I might mention it to them. That was my, my thought is, uh, I, don't, I don't know how you see. I mean, how you perceive. You know, like I tell you, you have cane and everything. And, you know, we get uh, it's a pencil here. You no, know, no, I'm just saying. Oh, oh yeah. By, by sound, you can get here. Yeah. And the wheel. Yeah. Right? This. Where is it? Right there. See, there's another wheel right here. Okay. That same edge here is the same. So there's a wheel here. Uh, and then I another wheel. Little, little space here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, but okay. I, once I, I, I get, can, once I get used to the space, yeah, you get used to it. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's how I was, you know, how do you, because right, uh, perceive things three dimensionally. So, that's why I was thinking, how in the world? Uh, so, um, I usually what I've been doing is I just talk a little bit about myself. I started when I was in high school, and I went to Illinois State, and I got a degree in art. Floundered for years, and then went back and got another degree, and broadcast communications and the Bible minor and all that, mm -hmm. but uh, never really. So, and I started this, I worked for Comcast for almost eight years and the whole time I was there, I started creating this place. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've been, I just had my 10th anniversary party last night. Oh, so fun. 10 years here, which is amazing. So, uh, what, and what did you say you used, you used to be a graphic? Commercial art. Commercial art. art. Yeah. What uh, what was your favorite medium, or what did you? Pencil. Pencil. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pencil, and, and then they all, I also had a, a set of I think eight different fine line drawing ink pens, where I had, where they had a little reservoir in each one, and I could add whatever I wanted. So it had different millimeters thickness of pen. So I, I would do pen art with just line, just it. line. Yeah. Oh, my brother-in-law. Uh, in the wintertime, he facilitates a uh, a life drawing class because uh, he's a he's a designer uh, at an architectural firm downtown St. Paul. Mm -hmm. And in the wintertime, he facilitates life drawing class. And uh, I haven't done that for a while. It must be eight, ten years ago or more since I did that class with him. But this one guy who used to come to the life drawing instead of drawing with pencil, he always drew with pen and ink. Mm -hmm. And the guy drove me nuts. You gotta be good. No mistakes. Uh, he, he drove me nuts because the, the, the pen and ink, it would always go. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the noise. And it, just the quiet in the room with music, just that scratching just drove me nuts. So anyway. <laughs> So we're going to start with this ball of clay, okay. and with the demonstration, I'm going to put it on the wheel here. Right. I'm going to slap, kind of slap it down. Right? Slap it down. Yep. And how do we know if it's centered? How would I know if it's centered? Um, you'll know. Are you Are you doing it like this? Well, and but I'm kind of turning it. So well, now, now what I'm What I'm going to do now? Let me uh, just so you know, I may have to hold hands with you occasionally. Just, that's how I to, teach. Just to feel. Okay. That's how I teach. All right. Is I'll, I'll take your hands. Yep. And guide you through the whole process. All right. So I was thinking maybe we'd do this twice, and the first one is this demonstration to try and explain it, and then we'll do it again. Okay. If that makes any sense. Sure. Yep. So. Um, the first part, there's several things going on all at the same time, okay? Mm -hmm. The most important part is you. Okay. You, uh, you, or the individual, needs to be in control of himself. Uh, and the best way I try to explain that is, well, I usually will hold a pair of pliers and a, an adjustable wrench, you know? Crescent wrench? Uh, crescent wrench. And because I, tr uh, what I try to use the simulation is, is with the pliers, those are like fingers and people always are squishing, you know, they're always, you know, they're always squishing everything because mm -hmm. they're not in control. With the crescent wrench, 
the fingers don't move. Mm -hmm. You know. So uh, really, what you need to do, the first thing is you, one needs to be meek, which is very difficult. And what I mean by that is, it's strength and control, but gentle. Mm -hmm. So self-control and gentleness at the same time. So that's the most important thing. Then there's uh, a balance, center, and rhythm. So I'll explain that. Uh, let's see what we have here. Um, first, the center. Um, let's see. Are you are you left-handed or right-handed? Right, right-handed. So first, here uh, the, here's this tool here. Okay. Yep. Can you yep. Feel the shape of it. Sure. Curve, so now what scoops up there a little bit. Right. So what we're gonna do first is yep. we're gonna take this tool with the point, okay, yep. and we're gonna hold it like this. If you lean on your right side, and first you can see you can feel how that is in the center. It is? But Maybe if you look. Oh it's in the center of the oh I got right. you. I see what you're doing. But see how how it's not in the center? Yep. So I don't even fill those holes that we just made. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I was trying to, you can tell the difference between the center and not the center. Sure. And uh, so. Can I try it? Yep. But just be very gentle. But uh, it helps to lean on your right side. See how that's more stable? Oh, well, yeah. Available. So you can feel. Yeah, that feels. Am I see how it's, yeah, I'm on it, right? Yep. Okay. You can see how you, when it gets off. Yep. And even if you do that. You I like to put these two fingers together over the center and then your feet. So, sure. um, the other thing I always tell people, uh, especially when centering, uh, it helps to not look at your fingers. So, don't look at don't, them. Don't look at your fingers. Okay, I promise. I will, I will not. Thanks do that. for laughing. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I'm sure you don't have that problem of being distracted by. Things. Visuals do not visual distract. Distract. Thanks for laughing. Well, most everybody else that's come in here has that problem of being distracted. Mm. Thanks for laughing. You're looking at other people's work. And <laughs> looking at you. They want your approval. Uh, and uh, so there's that. Um, and 